some, somebody who actually bothered to lo read the release notes can, can educate. Proxy, yeah. I hope to find you here. I sensed a powerful ripple in fate and came as quickly as I could. He's pretty, pretty bored. <laughs> I have been scouring the plains for hints of Torvasad's doings. I sensed ripples of probability flowing across the Daedric realms. Imagine my surprise when I traced them to their origin. Ancient Miskarkand. What happened there? Well, stuff happened. Without Nantherian, and with Torvasad off doing who knows what, the recollection will be scattered and leaderless. Our battle merely shifts to a new arena now, with even greater stakes. Already the threads of fate fray at an alarming rate. I do not think reality is endangered by Athelia's travels, but by her choices. Whatever she decides to do, reality must accommodate her. It will shatter in the attempt. The threat of her next decision causes fate to now fray. The one who knows has not made that clear to me. Yet as long as reality persists, we still have a chance to prevent Athelia from undoing... everything. Conclude your business with Baragon, Proxy. Our work is not yet done. I'm glad you're back, Laramil. Maybe you can help us understand what happened to Athelia in Miskarkand. Fate has demanded I assist its proxy. It is why I am here. A few recollection may linger, but their threat fades. Without Nantherian or the staff of many paths, there will be no more wild burns. The mad dream of a new alien kingdom replacing Westweald is dead. And that wasn't our only victory, friend. By saving Skingrad and Vashabar from Nantharian's designs, you taught both sides to stand against a common enemy. Whatever comes next, all the people of Westweald will face it together. I thank you for that. It's not much, but please, take this. Oh yeah. Once again. Hmm, what a waste. And he complains. <laughs> a few records by saving I sent word Shard Marshal Vargas clearly intends to conquer Westweald for her prince. She made that quite apparent at Feldegard Keep. But there may be another motive for the incursions. If Vargas keeps us busy here, we can't interfere with Athelia's plans. Ethelia said something about a loom, and restoring what was lost. And her plan probably leads to the end of reality that Laramil keeps going on about. Let's take the fight to Ethelia, and maybe prevent whatever she has in mind. Are you with me? Take a look at the skein of secrets. If Ethelia returned to Miramor, wherever that is, then perhaps the skein can show us how to follow her. It's worth a try, anyway. I have my own contacts. Old habits die hard, I suppose. But these came from Legion scouts reporting to Tribune Alea. They send word that Miramore monsters are still appearing out of thin air all across the Weald. I imagine you could make a real difference against these Daedric monsters, but we can win a lot of battles and still lose the war. These incursions are going to keep coming until we stop them at their source. We need to deal with Shard Marshal Vargas. The Wood Elves aren't going to pack up and return to Valenwood, if that's what you're asking. Nantharian was wrong about many things, but there's room for Bosmer in Westweald. I think the Colovian neighbors will come to see that too. I think Vashabar is done with kings. Nantharian came from an old family in Sylvanar, so the Bosmer who followed him accepted that title. I imagine they'll choose a new leader with a little more humility. Greenspeaker Darylith would be a good choice. Wendy, does that mean anything to you, Laramil? There are many hidden paths between the plains. 
I suspect the skein of secrets has showed us one. Prepare yourselves. How exactly do we prepare ourselves for oblivion? Not a sure how a location in the wield no gets us to oblivion. Still, that is our course. Fascinating. Wendir is another alien ruin, but the skein of secrets offers no explanation beyond a mark on a map. A subtle tool indeed, worthy of the Lady of Whispers. I am curious, Proxy. What exactly did you see when you looked at the skein? Skein is a bit like the map from the Harry Potter. <laughs> yes, it showed me the same. A place where Athelia used her power. I doubt she is still unknown. The skein presents us with a strange puzzle that we must solve. When you saw Athelia with Vargas in Miskarkand, what exactly did she say? A loom. As in a weaving apparatus. Intriguing. As for Athelia's home, her realm in Oblivion was forgotten when she was. No records exist that can point us to Miramor. And the thought of restoring what was lost... I do not like the sound of that. The point to which we must travel to follow Athelia, I assume. Perhaps we will find a portal to her realm there. Or mayhap there is something we are meant to learn in Wendir. We must trust the skein. I shall meet you there, Proxy. All right. sense an anomaly here, Proxy. A place where the veil between realms can be parted. Perhaps Abolisher can be of use. What about the Fargrave? grave? is what the Skate wanted us to find. A portal recently used by Athelia and reopened by Abolisher. Yeah, because Fargrave's uh, Daedric Prince was forgotten. It was totally forgotten what, what place it is and how it came to be. So, yeah, the huge, huge skeletons like that on the, on the background. Curious. This is Fargrave. Did Athelia come this way to make use of the Celestial Palanquin? Hmm. Faragon and Tribune Alea were right behind us, but have not yet appeared. We should confer, Proxy. The portal deposited us in the demiplane of Fargrave. It is a realm without a prince that serves as a crossroad through oblivion. A thousand doors lead in and out of Fargrave. Or so it is said. I wonder why. <laughs> but the fate of Baragon and the Tribune concerns me. I am not surprised. Many who travel the plains pass through Fargrave. I do not recognize this quarter of the city, though. Nor can I explain what happened to our allies. Mm. Perhaps it was some effect of Athelia's presence. The Shardborn are here in force. And in my previous visits, I never saw anything like those crystalline groves ahead. I think Athelia reshaped this part of Fargrave when she came this way. Which may have affected our portal, too. That is one possibility. But another occurs to me now. The true origins of Fargrave are lost. You said Athelia intended to return home. I wonder if this was her realm before she was forgotten. A mere conjecture. But if this lost quarter of Fargrave was once part of Athelia's realm, it has fallen into ruin during her long absence. Well, we will not find our allies or the answers we seek standing here. Let us continue. Celia's presence. See where they live. Okay, so she makes uh, crystals wherever she goes. Let it rest 
safe, restore your strength. thing is <laughs> climbing the tower for the crystal of uh, path and Vargas before they recovered what had been forgotten. Let us talk. I almost feel sorry for Athelia's scions. To exist for millennia, tormented by the sense they were missing something, and could not find their purpose. The loom of the untraveled road. That must be the loom Athelia spoke of in Miskarkand. Indeed. Clearly, the loom of the untraveled road is an apparatus of great importance. Vargas forgot what it was, yet its existence never ceased to gnaw at her. This is where Athelia's trail has been leading us. We must find a way to follow. Perhaps there is something more here than our mortal senses can perceive. In this reality, the archway and mirrors have long since lost their power. But in the many paths, that might not be so. Use the lamp of clarity, Proxy. Ah. Adornment. The symbols the lamp of clarity revealed above the mirrors are the same as the ones that appear in the portal archway. There is certainly a connection. The runes above the arch and the runes revealed on the mirrors by the lamp of clarity are the same. Perhaps activating the mirrors in a specific order is how we can revive the dormant portal and get inside. The symbols in the mirrors match the symbols above the arch. That must indicate something. Okay, so this is a Stargate, basically. That did something. Try interacting with more of the mirrors. Maybe. Perhaps. Okay. Doom of the untraveled road. A far cave always felt like um, uh, that one town from the Planescape Oblivion. Another isolated section of Fargrave, or a pocket dimension within the demiplane. Pocket dim di dimension is that pocket dimension. <laughs> Okay. 
feels, feels like a Matroska doll. Although, although that's pretty good, good explanation of the pocket dimensions. My loom of the untraveled road fills this place. From its core, I can break the shackles of fate, undo mistakes, unlock possibilities, create new histories. Cecilia can use the loom to change history. That is how she will restore what was lost. It's magnificent. But won't some princes see it as a threat? A threat? This is a gift. The gift of unconstrained choice. The loom will weave a new story for every being. What they choose to be true. All shall benefit. A wonderful gift indeed, my prince. Athelia and Vargas have reached the loom's core. We must reach them before they destroy the reality we know. Yeah, because reality is, is set. Reality is, is set in Elder Scrolls and, and uh, Ithelia is from the time that went with the reality wasn't set. Even my Mythic Era wasn't wasn't that set. It was Towers who actually made that made the time flow. I, I like this uh, Elder Scrolls online uh, expansions that actually actually confirm what we already know. Preferably if, if you are playing <laughs> that kind of game. Please don't roll around. I am not sure how to proceed and we have no time to wander aimlessly. Perhaps the skein of secrets can show us the way. Proxy, are you injured? Ouch. I am surprised you were not injured, Proxy. Unrolling the skein of secrets appeared to precipitate a reciprocal paroxysm that... That is, it triggered a backlash, as I am sure you noticed. Indeed. And whatever caused that also completely drained the skein's power. Perhaps Athelia protected the loom of the untraveled road against the influences of her rival princes. Or is this some property of the loom itself? I cannot say. Daedric princes are supreme within their own realms. The longer we are delayed, the stronger Athelia grows. In fact, the next defense we trigger may be more dangerous. I do not think it would be wise to use Abolisher here. I have witnessed enough of Athelia's realm to feel the power flowing through it. I believe I can use my portal magic to proceed deeper into the loom, perhaps even reach its core. As long as Athelia does not sense our approach, we should be fine. Big maybe. Hurry now. The portal I open should carry us as far. Oh, like Athelia does not wish to be disturbed. Rot in the very prison that held her for all those eons. For the sake of reality, you cannot walk free. You cannot contain me forever, Mora. In time, I will escape this cell. No fate that I foresee results in your freedom. I am sorry, Etheria, but I do this to preserve reality. Hermaeus Mora could not predict what he could not perceive. Athelia's scions, the Unseen. Come, we must find a way to escape. I sense something hidden here. You, the lab still functions, and it revealed a path. We should follow its guidance. Nice. These ruined mirrors look into different realities. 
They may be doors to the many paths. See if the lamp of clarity can free him. Shard Marshal Vargas sent us somewhere. The far grave we were exploring faded away. I suddenly found myself in another version of our reality. A mirror world. Dark and empty, full of soul-crushing dread, like an iron fist around my heart. I don't know how else to explain it. Whatever part of the many paths I was hurled into, it was a dark reflection of our reality. Timeless, empty, not a world made of mirrors, but the world you see in a mirror. Am I making any sense? I don't know. I never saw her after Vargas cast a spell. She might have been in the world I was trapped in, or she could be anywhere. On the other side, mirrors are like windows. You can see through them, but that's all. I waited here and hoped. These were the only mirrors I found. I couldn't pass through until you used the lamp. I'm not sure there's a way out of the many paths without some sort of help. Let's stay in this reality, friend. I think we can reach the end of the maze from here. If there is no escape by the road Baragon followed, we must continue on. Lead the way, Proxy. Never going to get out of there. The lamp. When Vargas attacked, its power is gone. At least we saved Tribuna Lake. When Vargas attacked, I saw a flash of light, and suddenly I was somewhere else. It looked sort of like Fargrave, but everyone was gone, including Baragon. I wandered until I found those mirrors. Thanks for getting me out of there, comrade. The lamp of clarity can no longer help us. Pulling Tribune Alea out of the many paths, used up the last of its power. We cannot use it again in our efforts to escape this prison. I wonder if, if, it, can, if it can regain its power. Not at Wendy. We must try abolish it. No matter. Well, if, if this is the prison, the three day drum is this prison, so. With, 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 uh, with uh, Herma Mora, so this should work. The appears unaffected for now. Let us leave this place. What in the name of all the divines is that thing? A Daedric apparatus of unimaginable power. We must find our way to the loom's core and I destroy that infernal Shard machine. Shard Marshal Vargas and Torvasar down there. That's a day de 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 de
Okay, it's a boss fight time. Now, give them no quarter. Watch out! The shard marshal's waiting for us. Okay, two borders. <laughs> Throwing <laughs> mirrors around. Okay, new round. They took that. Okay, <laughs> she, she grow a bit bigger.
down. That bullet is sure. to Athelia. I have no idea. Did we win? I think we won. But what happened to Athelia? She changed again, didn't she? Well done, comrade. I don't know about you, but I'm done with broken mirrors and Daedric monsters and old ruins. A flagon of Colovian red to wash the dust of this place from my throat? <laughs> That's what I need now. I don't think that was all. I wonder what part of multiverse she went and what could make could make her more powerful. Or is it like a um, kaboom and she has like nuclear powers or something? That's that's totally possible. It feels like a um, E, e part you, of the game. Baragon's waiting for you in the relic room. Really cruel. Hello, friend. Put the relics in the case, please. They may be powerless now, but we shouldn't forget the part they played in all this. I'm not sure I want to keep those in my house forever, but that's good for now. Let's talk. Okay, so I have still the sword. I know losing the use of the relics is bad, but at least we destroyed the loom and stopped Athelia from changing our reality. You know, I can't even conceive of what that actually means. But now that we're back in Westweald, on to local matters. I convinced Count Calantius and Greenspeaker Derelith to sit down and talk. They're finally ready to discuss stabilizing relations between Skingrad and Vashabar. I offered my home as a private venue for their meeting. They also want to speak to you. Don't look so surprised. You're a hero! You brought down Nantharian and defeated Shard Marshal Vargas. Yes, there are recollection and Shardborn stragglers to deal with, but you earned the trust of both Wood Elves and the Colovians through your actions. They're waiting for you out in the hall. I don't know what exactly they want to talk about, but it probably wouldn't hurt to remind them that friends make better neighbors than enemies. Uh, that's actually quite true. Traveler, we hope to see you here. I'm told you killed King Nantherian beneath Vashabar's very roots. I know he had to be stopped. Yet the tragedy will haunt me. He started with a great vision before he wandered onto dark paths. Vashabar is done with kings, but I can speak for the people of Dawnwood. It falls to me to make good on the obligation Nantherian left us. We must try to make amends for the damage he inflicted on Westweald. You and Tribune Alea showed us what's possible when we accept a little help. We can't give back what Nantherian has taken, but we can promise to be good neighbors going forward. 
and we will not advance beyond Dawnwood. That is all we need. If we find any more wild-burned seeds, we will destroy them. As for the area of devastation, our Greenspeakers shall attempt to repair the damage and restore the land. It will take time, but nature will heal. It always does. Well, in Oblivion there were, weren't any Bosmer villages in, in, uh, in this area. Tribunalea has spoken at length about you and enthralled me with tales of your exploits on behalf of Westfield. And to think you're not even a native of Skingrad or Vashabar. I hope it isn't too late for us to learn something from your example. It will not be easy to overcome the distrust the recollection sowed between Colovians and Wood Elves. But thanks to your valiant defense of Westweald, I think I can convince my people to see the opportunities here, not just the threats. For my part, yes. Of course, I must persuade some nobles and landowners to part with abandoned estates they can no longer return to, but I want to see the new forest held by allies of Skingrad, not left empty to be overrun by monsters and outlaws. <laughs> That's actually what, what was happened, ha had happened in you know, Oblivion. I spend a lot of coin to buy land. And with that land, I secure a treaty of cooperation with our new neighbors. I thank you, hero. You aided Westweald in our time of need. Wherever your journey leads next, Skingrad is forever in your debt. Nantherian betrayed all we hold sacred, Count Calantius. And he has paid for his crimes with his life. I want no war with Vashabar, but Nantherian left Ostomir in ruins and killed our people. We cannot return Dawnwood to the seed it sprang from, but we too seek peace. We shall do everything we can to prove ourselves friends and allies to the Weald. Through all we faced, it wasn't until I was lost in the many paths that I realized the true danger to the Weald. I think you saved everything when you destroyed the loom of the untraveled road. Of course, Ethelia is still out there, somewhere. That's tomorrow's problem, friend. You stopped the recollection, and you held back the forces of Miramor. The people of Westweald can handle what's left of Athelia's servants. We're free to find our own way forward now. Thanks to you. Uh, uh, okay, maybe we, we should actually em empty some stuff. For example, those. Through all we face, that's tomorrow's problem. We saved West Weald and preserved history. But Prince Athelia still roams free. Doomed. We're all doomed. Screwed. Mortal reality itself is threatened. Mortal, something's wrong. Hermaeus Mora senses fates, futures, winking out of existence. Potentials he predicted that will never be. I feel these instabilities rippling across reality. This must be Athelia's doing, but we need to be certain. Instabilities! Places where the threads of fate fray and shred. And it's getting worse. I sense one forming in Westweald even now. But this one feels... different. Addressing anomalies of fate is my sacred duty, but these... scare even me. I suggested we hide in the Icor Sea until this blows over. But the Great Eye said no. So I need you and Laramil to accompany me to the instability. Will you serve as Fate's Chosen once more? I'll give you those pieces of gold you like so much. Before we depart, gather the Daedric Relics. Abolisher, the Lamp of Clarity, and the Skein of Secrets. Even though they're depleted, the Great Eye has seen that you will need them in the trials to come. And I'm certainly not going to carry them. I haven't had a chance to examine them yet. All I can tell you is that they're very disturbing. The way they shred fates before they're born. And they're growing more powerful. So, if you could get a move on, maybe we could do something about them. Haven't you realized by now that the Great Eye doesn't share the whys and wherefores with the hired help? 
But if Hermaeus Mora tells you to spin, you ask how many revolutions. <laughs> and yes, I'm speaking from experience. The relics are this way, gathering dust on the tiny mortal's wall. Ah, it's in the sword is here. Now that you have the relics, I suppose I must open a portal to the instability. This way, mortals. Ah, uh, one moment. I'm I'm going to empty empty my pockets. If this is actually opening something new or in ending the quest line here, because I I would suppose they would like milk. Third uh, D uh, DLC of this from this uh, data experience. It was awful. Like the world ripped open. Like a tear. It swallowed our cart and poor Lazarus. Sucked him right in. We were foraging in Pharaoh's cavern. Lazarus and me. We heard a terrible ripping sound. And there it was. A tear in the space before us. Never seen the like. It was full of... Nothing! But Lazarus got too close! He was just... gone! So I ran! We must enter the cave, and see this tear for ourselves. Do you know what that mortal just described? A tear in reality. If that's the instability I sensed, then no wonder my tentacles are quivering. <laughs> oh, I suppose we need to go into that cave and take a look. You first. Here we, are, we are over here. Pharaoh's cavern. Huh. A tear in the fabric of reality. Not only have the threads of fate been parted, a piece of existence has been destroyed. Mm, that's not good. Examine it, mortal, but carefully. Very carefully. Mortal, I think I know what's happening here. <laughs> Let's talk. Carefully. Stick, stick your hand in, inside. But it tells us much. What started as instabilities in the threads of fate have become tears in the fabric of reality itself. Oh, the Great Eye's worst fears have come to pass. Somehow, some way, Athelia is responsible for this disaster. I can feel it in my seventh appendage. I'm saying that before I returned to get you and Laramil, I examined a number of these instabilities. Some in the Telvanni Peninsula, even a few in Apocrypha. If they all grow into these reality tears, well... <laughs> We're all doomed is an understatement. Now you doubt my expertise? <laughs> Look, we only detected these instabilities because of their effect on nearby threads of fate. And that reality tear, if I didn't have all my eyes on it, I wouldn't even know it was there. This is Athelia, all right. I'm not sure we can fix them. Our best chance is to find Athelia and return her to her prison. And you have the relics to do it. We just have to figure out how to restore their depleted energy. Let me think. Here, I've marked your map. Take Abolisher to the Telvanni Peninsula, the Lamp to Westweald, and the Skane to Apocrypha. I'll send help to meet you with directions on how to restore the relics. Meanwhile, Laramil and I will try to locate Athelia. We shall send Gadain, Baragon, and Tribunalea to assist you, Proxy. Meet up. Do not worry, Proxy. Scrooge's plan is sound, if a bit incomplete. We shall work out the pertinent details and relay them to our allies before they meet up with you. We shall rendezvous at Baragon's townhouse after you restore the relics. No matter, but let's, let's see. Oh, that, that looks nice. Out! Oh no. Okay. Something happened. I didn't die. Seems 
looks like Burn actually came here as well. There you are, finally. I just want to talk. <laughs> you again? Stay away from me. Help! She's going to kill me! No, wait! Oh, this is hopeless. Ugh, I'm such a screaming ninny when I panic. I suppose you saw that whole debacle? It's embarrassing enough for me to witness my own base emotions, let alone anyone else. I've got to pull myself together. Literally. <laughs> you were talking to yourself. Obviously. Though I hoped it would go better. I was experimenting with the reflective Daedric magic in this region. I always loved mirrors. During my studies I fractured my personality, freeing my emotions to run amok. I haven't felt right since. Must I repeat myself? You saw my fear earlier. I don't miss my stupid whims, but I'm not myself without my facets. They're running wild, and now they won't return to me. Maybe a stranger could convince them to come back. I'll make it worth your time. I wish I didn't need my petty emotions. They only cause trouble. I'm still linked to my facets. I sense one near a river south of Stingrad. <laughs> it's probably my despair. I can be rather dramatic when I'm in a doleful mood. And the water is comforting. Of course you do. Let's get on with it then. I'm a sorceress. Daedric magic is just a tool. Like a hairbrush or a dab of rouge. I was creating a spell to expedite my morning routine. Mirror magic is more powerful here. It was going swimmingly, until the mirrors shattered, and I did too. Honestly, I'm not sure. Talk to them for a start. I can be quite stubborn, so I expect my facets won't come easily. Do whatever it takes to convince them to return. Appease them. Bargain with them. Tie them up for all I care. Just get them back. If I knew the answer to that, do you think I would be here? Daedric magic is tricky at best, and the magic in Westfield is particularly volatile. I must have pushed my experiment too far, and shattered some element binding the spell together. Well, that, that is a problem. <laughs> Practical magic. Well, at least it's mages. It's not mages' kill problem this time. You ready? Stay ready. Never know what happens if we get in our way. Over here, comrade. Perhaps you can make sense of what the Watchling told me. The friendly Daedra Scroot sent me to meet you, comrade. She and Laramel told me some strange things, but after everything that happened in Westweald... Anyway, I'm here to help. Indeed. Apparently the workers in this camp discovered an ancient shrine to Azura before they were overwhelmed. Ah. Laramel suggests that if you hold the Lamp of Clarity close to the shrine, Azura herself will restore its energy. I, I think Oblivion did have a... Shrine of Azura, but it it was in different place. Hmm. The Shrine to Azura should be on the east side of the lumber camp. Let's go find it. What? After everything with the recollection, you think I wouldn't want to see this through to the end? When Laramil summoned me and Scroot explained things, I readily agreed to help. Now, let's get moving before reality breaks down around us. Yeah. Stuff happens. So the lumber camp is a delve. Interesting. The wild bird was not kind to this place. Let's locate the shrine, but remain vigilant. Okay, that's a uh, Azura shrine. The shrine of Azura. Hold the lamp close, and let's see if this. The lamp of clarity looks restored to me. So all, all of three so-called three good data are 
bound by the Gold Harbor Compact. And that limits their ability to manifest their powers on turn. But... And uh, we don't know the... Okay, okay these, these people killed the boss already. Not going to wait. But uh, the place where the princess power powers can manifest this is their shrine. So that's that's kind of loop loophole. Works like advertised, basically. And Elder Scrolls has been written so long that it has its own logic. Uh, and it's, it's a weird fiction, but not everything goes. There's actually actually a clear reasoning and very very esoteric explanations why why things are how they are. Uh, so yeah, not not everything goes. While this is a weird fiction, and not everything goes. And even data are bound to by some rules. Uh, location that were like uh, it wasn't gold standard. It it was uh, felt like a beta graphically. So yeah. So still still waiting them to actually go and this way, friend. Scroot told me to meet you here, but I wasn't expecting all the spirits. Uh, it's a good day then. Uh, that's a normal day, right? It's good to see you, friend. I was surprised when Scroot appeared, and I hoped she would send me somewhere not quite so otherworldly. But I never hesitated. I'm happy to assist you. Still, if we can avoid those reality tears, I'd be grateful. Yes, but I'm not sure I understood it all. Apparently you have a map that's also a Daedric relic? Scroot says you need to get it to something immersed in the energy of Mephola. That will restore its power. Have... have you seen Laramil recently? <laughs> He's still sweet on Laramil. Her regards? She did? What were Laramil's exact <laughs> words, friend? Yeah. No, not now. <laughs> We're in Apocrypha and we have a task before us. We must get your map to something sacred to Mafala. As luck would have it, Scroot knows of a ship here in Fathom's Drift called Storm Spinner. It was carrying items sacred to followers of Mafala. And she thinks you can use them to restore the relic. The ship should be to the north. Let's go find it. Okay, why can't we, like, find the Mephala Shrine? Example from Morrowind. And use it, but, yeah. Scroot said that the ship was overloaded with amulets, statuettes, and other Mephala paraphernalia. But we're looking for bolts of silk cloth spun by devout worshippers of the Lady of Whispers. The ship was lost at sea and wound up here. Well, if it works, well, who am I to argue? Besides, it's it's good 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 idea to just put players to walk around and visit visit old places.
workers. The overseer... You there. Do you work here? As a notary for the Kwama Consortium of Necrom, I demand that you explain why production has halted. Are you aware of the irreparable harm this is inflicting on our image? The Consortium will be none too pleased. Apologies, Traveler. I came on a little strong there. I'm an auditor sent to inspect Anchor Eggmine. It's been a few days since their last shipment, and the higher-ups are growing restless. Please, this isn't the first workers' strike I've negotiated. Wait, you don't think something dangerous happened here, do you? Well, I have expense funds for this assignment. Might I hire you as a bodyguard while I perform my audit? I'm required to inform you that as a contractor for the Kwama Consortium, you are held to the highest standards of conduct. But on a personal note, thank you. Now, we'll need to inspect the pens, speak with the Overseer, and take note of the Queen. Oh yes, a healthy Kwama Queen is as good as gold around here. Their eggs are a staple food for Dark Elves. The Consortium outfits these mines with the best tools and workers money can buy. The Kwama Consortium of Necrom oversees the care and husbandry of egg mines on the peninsula. Their export of eggs is second to none, but even one mine operating below expectations can lead to grumbles among shareholders. Myself and others like me, yes. Okay, so let's go to the delt. I, I haven't played this delt before, so that's why they were a quest. They were a quest. Uh, I think I didn't do all the quests in necrom too bad it, it yeah that was last last summer you made it i was worried one of those reality tears got you laramil and that floating ball of eyes told me to meet you here they explained all about the reality tears they sound terrible what's going to befall us next i wonder she did according to scrut there's an old forge deep within the mine that's dedicated to Boethia. Laramil and her believe that if you present the sword at the forge, Daedric energy will once more flow into the blade. The entrance to Boethia's forge should be somewhere in the northeast section of the mine. Yeah, I'll buy this. This could be a okay, okay location for the forge. Boethia created Abolisher. So it stands to reason that a forge built to honor her might be able to restore it. Or same place. Master Blacksmith dedicated the forge. the forge back when Daedric worship was more widespread. It became a Kwama mine much more recently. Yeah, because you can actually place a Kwama mine. They're apart. Look, a notice on the pen. Let's see what it says. Older parts of the mine. Could that be the source of this frenzy? Green Ecor. Well, this is not mine. And what are they doing to somewhere. Boy, they are forge. with power again oh it's a Torvashard lower your weapons I only want to talk I see you are still at the beck and call of the lying prince of fate I do not seek to be your enemy mortal. before we irreversibly cross a threshold from which there is no return I would reach an understanding between us Existence? You speak of it as though it was sacrosanct. But my prince was locked away and erased from existence by your smug and sanctimonious patron, forgotten by all. 
I fixed that. But when we tried to restore our realm, our home, you opposed us. No different from what Mora and the other princes did in that distant millennium. Think of what could have been accomplished had not the Prince of Paths been vanquished from history. Do you not see? Just stand aside and let events flow as they may. As I feared, Hermaeus Mora sees so much but has blinded you. I respect you, mortal. Do what you must, and I shall do the same. Perhaps when reality has been rewritten, and a new Miramore arises, you will have a different opinion. Consider what I have said. We Daedra may be immutable, but you mortals are not. Mm. Is someone down there? Please! Help us! Someone's alive? Let's hurry. Now you are a welcome sight. Please tell me the way out of here is clear. We were starting to lose any hope of escape. Show us bones. I ask for aid and they send an auditor. Yeah, that can happen. Rate, there won't be a mine left to audit. I'm Overseer Ulfengar. The egg tenders behind me are Morsa and Barlock. We barely managed to escape the Quama, let alone those damned cultists. Yes, I sent word days ago asking for more guards. We first saw them sneaking around the mine, but now they've broken in somewhere near the hatchery. They've whipped the Quama into a frenzy, and I'm worried they're trying to poison the clutch. One of the egg hands, Gain, noticed young Quama returning to their pins with green slime. A few days later, we started spotting cultists skulking about. What better way to poison a clutch than to taint the young ones? Hmm. But there has to be more to it. There are plenty other mines across the peninsula. Killing this brood would only be an inconvenience to the Consortium. But yet the cultists are here in full force. I'm certain there must be more to their plan, but I have to look out for the miners. Fomessa went looking for survivors down the southern ramp. An egg tender Gain left to scout the southeastern passageways for a way out. I ended up here with Morsa and Barluk. If there are others alive out there, you'd know better than me. Gain dead. That man loved these Kwama like they were his own kin. I can't imagine how he felt having to face them like this. Last I saw Formesa, she was heading south on the ramps, looking for survivors. Soon you'll fall, and Necrom will follow. Enough! Bend to Periite's will, and Oh, I think Periite's called this. Aragonian, interesting. Jets really uplifting. Overseer, I'm glad you all made it out. With your expertise in the Queen's Pheromone Glen, we should be able to reopen the mine and... Reopen the mine? After the Consortium left I us see to die? Nice. You're to solve the god with this mine. You've got the Queen's Glen, requeen the mine yourself. We're leaving. Olfengar, please reconsider. Olfengar? Friend, can you please talk to the Overseer? The people of Necrom will starve without this mine. If Sindith had wandered in here alone and gotten herself killed, 
How long before the Consortium sent another to find us? A day? A week? We're lucky someone of your metal was nearby. You have my thanks, friend. Truly. It failed the moment those Consortium Hawkers chose to ignore my letters. Does Sindiath really think a Queen's Gland and some elbow grease will be enough to put that place to rights? You saw what those cultists were doing. It's blighted. Finished. So it's my burden, then. Shore's bones. Those bastards are just greedy enough to risk it, aren't they? With a fresh Queen's Gland. Ah! No, we'd need an army of egg hands, alchemists, a staffed garrison. The Consortium would never agree to it. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out. Let me see this gland. And tell Sindiath we'll stay on if the Consortium provides all the staff and resources I need. The moment they hedge, I'm leaving. And taking Malsa and Barlak with me, Necrom be damned. That sounded like it went well. Please tell me you have some good news. I really need something to soften the blow of this report to my superiors at the Consortium. Oh, trust me, I'll make sure the Consortium does what is right. To send an auditor in place of soldiers? Unbelievable. The safety of the people of Necrom is my highest priority. Take my thanks, and everything that I owe you. Good. You can start by making sure the families of those lost in the mine are properly taken care of. Of course. Honoring those lost is the first step towards making things right. The first of many. <sighs> yep, yep. I can sense the power flowing through the relics. Well done! Now, Scrooge and I have an idea about how to proceed. Okay, load it on me. With the three relics that were once used to imprison Athelia restored, we must determine where to even begin our search for the Forgotten Prince. Before we discuss the idea that Scrooge and I derived, do you have anything else to report? Of course he does. But his faith in his prince has made him blind to the danger she poses to existence itself. These tears are spreading. Soon the fabric of reality may be too damaged to repair. We must find Athelia before that happens. An idea, yes. Although Scrooge referred to it as a remote possibility. We should return to the loom of the untraveled road. Perhaps the Echoneer can reveal a lingering memory as to where Athelia has gone. But, Proxy, was Curate Gadain, well... Ah! <laughs> she, she, now she has a sweet on him. He... that is... Uh, okay. I am glad that Gadain is well. <laughs> okay. But, <laughs> now we must return to Fargrave and make our way to the Chamber of the Loom. I dare not open a portal there directly as the release of power when you destroyed it has made the area unstable. This portal will take us to Fargrave. Watch yourselves. Who knows what dangers still lurk near the loom. G'day! I... Uh, get get I in, game. Okay. Jump too fast. Traveled road lies ahead of us. Stay alert for any of Miramore's danger. Okay, let's see. Damage the only pen still in Use the Echovir and see what memories remain. Nothing! Damn them! Very well! If I cannot restore Miramore, I will create a new realm upon the festering corpse of Apocrypha! Apocrypha? Proxy, we must talk. What do you need? Not you. The power Athelia absorbed when you destroyed the loom. 
It has turned her into the very monster Hermaeus Mora foresaw. Okay. And now she plans to challenge him and take Apocrypha for herself. I fear we may not be able to change these spiraling fates. Change does not come naturally to the Daedric princes. Not like it does for mortals. That is why the one who knows sought you out. You are correct about the change. But that was the result of untold power, not a conscious effort. The result of the way events played out in those other realities, I suspect. Daedric princes have no experience with the constant evolution and transformation of mortals. They are eternal, and have no point of reference for the transient. She was confused, vulnerable. That much I grant you. That, however, is not the same as being mortal. An intriguing notion. She saw other versions of herself. Is there a way to get her to see that and attempt to change her own perspective? We must consult Scrooge. This shall require all of our combined knowledge if such a possibility truly exists. Scrooge awaits us at Baragon's townhouse. Let us return there at once. Okay, so you can't gate can't gate in in here, but you can gate out. Okay, logic. And that what what uh, Leramil said was yeah, that's that's the definition of data. They take prince they are pretty set in their ways. Everyone's back. Great. And I don't see anyone carrying anything that gets us closer to saving reality. I've been doing my best to keep morale up while you were gone. But even my usually cheerful mood is under assault. <laughs> more and more of those tears in reality keep appearing. We're running out of time. Did you learn anything useful at the loom? Another assault on Apocrypha? The Great Eye still hasn't recovered from the last one. <sighs> we already knew that Athelia had transformed into the monster Hermaeus Mora warned us about. I don't suppose you and Laramil have come up with a way to stop her. Daedra don't change. Different reflections. You mean the versions of Athelia that Laramil told me you encountered on the many paths? She also said that when you first encountered Athelia, she looked mortal and was confused and weak. At least by Daedric standards. <sighs> You're right. Athelia has changed, and reflecting might just be the key. I read about a relic created by a mortal wizard. A mirror that revealed the innermost thoughts and dreams of the viewer. Laramil and I must consult some ancient texts. Obviously, we're going to need something connected to Athelia. I spotted a primordial shattered titan in the ruins of Scion while I was scouting instabilities. Retrieve a fragment from that ancient Daedra. We can use it to create the relic. It's very old. Ancient, even. One of the first things the Prince of Paths ever created. And it's big. How it got to the ruins of Scion, I have no idea. But it's there, and we can use it. Provided you can defeat it and bring back one of its shards. Well, of course. I was waiting, waiting to punchline him. those ruins? They're west of Skingrad. Then let's not waste time. Let's go get this shard. <laughs> 